let's talk about uh let's talk about uh some rumors I got that's going around man I just shared in one video I think I might start doing a mailbag pretty soon one day bro where um I asked on social media in the community tab you know do y'all want to uh got questions y'all want me to address in, in video format um, kind of similar like we do for the lives at the end instead of you know um taking the questions that they come be all nice lengthy and you know explained out answers and stuff man take the best ones probably take about five to ten questions a video but that's the rumors man they just start piling up a little bit two charlo rumors um and a cobra rumor i want i want to say i might have another one man i just can't think i can look look at my messages but you know i start off with charlo jamal charlo versus canelo um, I don't know why he did Andrade like that. I guess that was one last F you to Andrade for how Andrade did his brother. Or maybe setting up Andrade for after the Canelo fight. But I think it might have been just trolling Andrade. Um, I think it might have been just trolling Andrade uh, for what he did with Jamel Charlo. And understandably so. Like, y'all want me to fight Jamel Charlo, who never been a titleist, and he make more money than me, and I'm the world champion. I get it, but... You know, at the end of the day, that's just part of some of the business mistakes Andra made in his career. But uh, nonetheless, uh, but Andra and Can I mean Canelo and, and Charlo heard it's done. You know, uh, now things can change, things can fall out, things can fall apart, things can fall together. Uh, didn't get a venue, didn't get a date. I heard a lot of the dates in Vegas is booked. Um, yeah, I heard a lot of them dates in Vegas is booked right now. So. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly, uh, I'm not sure exactly, you know, where they fighting at. I got people saying the Manly Bay book, the MGM book, the T-Mobile book. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be, what, Mexican Independence Day weekend. So that's my assumption on that. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's my assumption on that. So, uh, you know, at the end of the day, bro, uh, you know, we know why Canelo fight Charlo at this point. Uh, we know Charlo need the bag. Uh, so I ain't complaining. You know, it always got to be some type of caveat with Canelo uh, Alvarez. So I'm not surprised. You know, really, in reality, this fight probably shouldn't go past six rounds. I'm surprised he didn't try to jump on him after the Monty Hill fight. You forget, not only did he look bad versus, you know, um... Not only did, did he look bad versus uh, Montiel, I mean, not only if he come off a two-year layoff, but he looked bad versus Montiel. Let's not forget that. He looked terrible versus Montiel. And part of it was, obviously, he had some dysfunctional things going down at, at home. Uh, he was training at home with dysfunction. That's why I said a lot of people just like getting away from training. He, he not one of those guys who like getting away from training. Train, you know, had Andre Johnson coming through the, the Hall, to be Hall of Fame receiver. So he's not one of them dudes that like to get away. But we know why Canelo fighting them. And like I said, you know, you got people still defending Canelo Alvarez. You got people still defending Canelo Alvarez and his acts. So it don't matter what he gonna do. These are the same people who get at Earl, who get at you know uh, Deontay, who get at you know whoever whoever it is. Whoever it is, they got an issue with, with, with them. So it ain't it ain't too much, it ain't too much, you know. Ain't too much else that, that really need to be said or need to be done. But you know, it like it's it's going down. You know, I got Canelo, I had Canelo from the beginning, I got Canelo right now, but It'd be an amazing story for Jamal Charlo to come out on top and beat Canelo Alvarez. I believe it's going to be on Showtime, you know, so do Benavidez feel like he was portrayed? You got to ask him. You got to ask him. You know, but I, I, I'm probably thinking Vegas to Texas for this fight. Um, that's the one thing that I am thinking. It's like maybe Vegas or Texas or whatever. But, I mean, that is what it is. So, then again, also heard you got Colbert and Ray Venezuela coming up. Um, they going to do it again. 
Uh, I don't I don't know what happened there. I don't know what card it's gonna be on. I know Fondora Mendoza is supposed to be on the Morale and Benavidez undercard, so that can that always can change. So, uh, so yeah, Sebastian Fondor and, and Brian Mendoza too is supposed to be. The, I believe the co-feature. Don't mark my words on that one. Uh, for David Morale and uh, David Benavidez, which they going the word is they gonna attempt to throw that on pay per view, which I don't understand that, but maybe they feel Benavidez a pay per view star. Um, I got a pistol in the car. I'm not a star. And my root rocks was. I'm not a star. Yeah, Colbert and Reynolds Venezuela gonna do it again. I mean, everybody thought that Reynolds Venezuela won. I'm just thinking Colbert ain't as good as people thought he was. Um, and I think I already think we all came to that conclusion that he overrated. Highly touted amateur. Confidence of an average New Yorker. Maybe above average New Yorker. But, you know, right now, I think the number one thing wrong with him, he, he kind of want to play into being a puncher. You know... He want to be a puncher and forget that his speed and his reflexes and his athleticism is his biggest gift. So, you know, he's been in there with Rayo already. He tasted his power. Um, I think I think I still favor Rayo Venezuela going into the rematch, but I'll be pulling for Colbert in that one, but I think Rayo Venezuela should come out there and finish him off. He in there playing with the motherfucker, man. He should have knocked his ass out. You know, I know you're on the West Coast. You feel like you're around your people. You know what I'm saying? Ben Vidas on the undercard, you know, you you know you want to make Latino area, but you still, let that be a lesson to him. You still gotta you still gotta finish him. You still you still got a clap dog. You still gotta get dog up out of there. So no matter you know what he's speaking on, what he believing on. How you doing it? He got to get, he had to get that guy up out of there and he failed to do that. I know to me when you don't dot all your I's and cross all your T's and make all your, make sure all your S's is S's in. <laughs> S's. That's what happened. That's exactly what happened. So. That's on him. You know. That's literally on him. That's literally on him, so. Uh, but, uh. But, it is what it is. To end it off, then I heard that uh, you got Charlo and Zoo. Jamil Charlo, Lil Charlo, uh, Groupie Charlo, fiance of Earl Spence Charlo, let Terrence Crawford tell it. Could be fighting Tim Zoo. I heard the venues could be Las Vegas, LA, or I'm gonna go ahead and say a distant third, in my opinion, is Australia. So um so yeah, they supposed to be fighting in October. I wanna say, did somebody say the October 14th? Give me one second. Yep, that's yes, that's the tentative date. I know they said October at first, but October 14th is 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 the tentative date they going with. Um, for Tim Zoo taking on Jamil Charlo for Undisputed. I expected Jamil Charlo to vacate that belt, but shout out to Charlo, man. When he, he ain't really duck too much smoke in his career that I can remember. And he gonna stand his ground, and you know, he probably should be favored to beat Tim Zoo. But Tim Zoo been active, and you know, if Tim Zoo can take the punch and get off the line, he got a damn good chance. We've seen Charlo struggle with a lot of guys that just naturally pressure him. He don't deal with pressure well. Even when he boxed Ronnie, he didn't deal with pressure. So, you know, Tim Zoo heavy-handed. I think he's starting to get uh, Jamil respects in. He sat down with Steven Jackson and did that interview. That's the best interview he did. In his living room, chilling with his kid. Didn't seem all yelled. Didn't seem intense. Didn't seem like he had a hormonal, hormonal chemical imbalance or nothing like that. He gave a straight shooting in the interview. So that was a good interview that he gave. I gotta finish it, but it was good. He talked some real shit on there. But yeah, like he's gonna fight Tim Zoo in October, so he's gonna be off for a couple of years. What about a year some change? So what, May, June, July, August, September, yeah, about almost a year and a half. But uh coming off of injury, um, like I said, you know, I don't know these dudes' infatuation 
with defending undisputed. You don't have to, but then again, where else he gonna go? You know, where else he gonna go? You go to 160 and, you know, Tim Zoo probably a bigger and better fight than everything at 160, not named his twin or Jaime Munguia. So, so yeah, and you should go ahead and do it. I don't think there's too many other, you know, worthy title holders at 154 that he holding up other than, you know, Tim Zoo. You know, Fondura lost. I don't know too much about Israel Madam off of back rhyme, whatever the other two, the WBIBF next up. Um, Mendoza, we got to see if he can do it again against Fondura. Like I told you, I heard that's going to be in October, November versus Benavidez or Morel. So October could be a hot month for PBC. You know, Charlo Zoo. We got Benavidez and Morale. That's gonna be pay-per-view. So we gotta wait and see. But um yeah, that's all the info I got for y'all, man. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, the subscribe button, it's the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase the chance get notifications, we go live or drop a video um, financially on the sports channel. Cash App, Dollar Sign, CJ Good, we want three Venmo, CJ Good, we want three PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree, find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and all nine. Uh, check out the box room playlist for more videos like this. Peace.